Hey everybody, Rubicon here with Total War Saga Troy. First of all, thank you so much to Creative Assembly for early access. Very excited to get you guys a look inside of what the game is going to look like. And we are going to have two campaigns going here. The first one's Hector, and then we are going to be doing a Spartan campaign, which will also be going up on the channel today. So keep an eye out for both of those. I wanted to, I wanted to do one from each side of the equation. As you can see, you've got the the Greek side over here, and then you've got the Trojans over here. We are going to go with Hector, just because I like Eric Bana, and he was a Hector in Troy, so therefore it was a very simple decision for me. Let's just be perfectly real about that. So, what we're going to do is we are going to jump right into this, and setup is a little new. What's nice is you can actually see everybody else on the map, and you can see how they feel about you so right you can kind of see where your enemies are to begin with and so we have our victory conditions here you've got two types you've got the homeric victory which is you basically complete the mission chain so this is much more iliad based kind of a story based campaign or you just have you beat you beat your first antagonist faction you occupy race sack 100 different settlements you control three following settlements either by ownership or vassals military allies so that's how the objectives are going to work in the campaign hector though what we do is King Priam, King of Troy, we fulfill tasks that he gives to us to gain his benevolence. We gain maximum benevolence before uh, Paris, our brother, to confederate Priam and Priam, Priam, if I'm, I think it's Priam. If I'm saying that correctly, please let me know. But we get there first, we get to confederate that faction, and we also can't let Troy fall. So we do have uh, the Aswan League, so more allies we have and the more land we control, the more positive effects we receive. We also would move quicker on the campaign map, have more morale, less upkeep and recruit your units. And if we help them out, we might get a thank you. Hopefully better than just a card in the mail. But Hector, his army, very tough. This is going to be a hammer, 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 hammer type uh, unit roster. You've got the guards of Troy, shield and spear uh, infantry with a their heavy class. They can also sh uh, change weapons. You've got the champions of Troy, another shield and spear infantry. They also have a missile weapon that can be used. So if I can get the... There we go. So limited ammunition. So basically you get a couple throws. That's pretty much it. And then you have Hector's Chosen. These are sword and shield. They are immune to flanking. So basically <clears throat> a big part of this game is going to be the flanking. Don't have to worry about that with these guys. They're immune to it. So Hector, he does have the son of Priam and Hecuba. Hecuba? Hecuba? Again, Greek, not my language. So if I'm saying anything wrong, please correct me. I want to make sure I get this pronunciation correct. So what we have is a 10% uh, boost to morale of all units in the territory uh, within his army, and then a 5 plus uh, gold income per turn just from having him around. So we are going to jump right in. I do need to, sorry, adjust this. There we go. All right, so we'll do hard, hard going in. So we are going to jump right in. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? He's taken her! He's taken my wife! You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight. Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. The wrath of Achaea will descend upon Troy. Paris acted in love, but he has incited war. Whether the walls of Ilios will endure, only the gods can tell. All right. Hector, the eldest son of Priam, musters his forces and seeks allies in order to ensure that Troy is defended against the mighty Achaean host. AKA Sean Bean and Brian Cox and Brendan Gleeson.
Paris of Troy must pay! Oh, man-killing Hector. The sons of Achaea will cross the sea with a thousand ships, not just to take back Helen, but to kill every last Trojan and burn Troy to ash. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. You rule over the innermost region of Troad from the city of Zelea. Reckless Prince Paris has taken beautiful Helen to his holdings on the Trojan coast. Reprisals have already begun. An Aeolian incursion has ravaged the south. The raid was launched from Lesbos, but they do not yet fully control the island. To the north, Aeneas holds the Hellespont for Troy. Fear not, noble cousins. I stand with you. On the nearby western islands, your god-touched brother, Troilos, protects the coastal waters in the name of your father, King Priam. You must bring together Troy's disparate forces to counter Achaea's inevitable vengeance. All right, so that's the overview. We've got Hector right here. Again, Priam's heir. We gain the most favor to become master of the city. And then we have to gather a host of allies to defend our father's kingdom. We've got our first objective. We've got a little army right here, uh, Makiria. And so they are basically a rebel army. We will get food and bronze. So big difference from previous Total War games, at least the more recent one, Three Kingdoms, the last historical title that came out. There are a variety of resources, and we don't have access to all of them. So like for gold, for example, it's gathered in gold mine settlements. There are deposits of different size, and once that deposit runs out, they only get 10% of its total production. So we, because we are Hector, we get five per turn, as you can see right there. Again, right here, you've got bronze, and then you've got stone, no change there. You've got wood, obviously, gathered in forest settlements, and then you have food. So this is gathered in farm settlements, and food is kind of the way that army upkeep works. So if we pull these guys up, oh, didn't mean to do that, sorry. So if we pull these guys up, their upkeep right here is in food. So and also bronze. So if we were to go to recruit people, you see this is how much food that it takes to recruit them, first and foremost, and then how much it costs to maintain them. So you gotta have food. That is the number one priority. And then this is the new tech tree format, this royal decrees. So you've got royal stone. So this gets you 80 plus stone per turn, which we're not getting any, so that might be a good way, place to start. But and then it goes down. So you get plus happiness, you get a reduction of wood construction costs. This is kind of a building uh, chain. So again, you can get even more stone down here. And then up here, you've got timber. So this is wood, which we don't need as much of at the moment. And it gives you additional ammunition, things like that. So over here is the treasure hall. So this gets you gold, just again, pure gold. So that would help us there too. Here we have royal granaries, we already have that. And then royal bronze, again, it just, these help more with the recruitment. So additional melee defense, reduce recruitment cost, and then additional bronze per turn. Here, this is granary, so this is a growth chain right here. So this is additional 560, but it also, some of these cost different resources. So for example, this one down here, you get plus 560 food per turn, but it costs you 400 gold. So it's not necessarily just you're gonna roll right through here like this one for example costs 500 5000 excuse me food but it reduces your upkeep by 10 percent for all units all of your own armies across the entire faction so we can do growth we can do recruitment what i think we're going to start with for us is we're going to do public service just to get some growth going which will be helpful for us because we don't we only have one mission that's to defeat these guys so then we'll go to the building chain and give you a quick overview of this. So very similar to uh, Warhammer, th that type of setup. Um, 
again, going with the most recent ones. Uh, the UI reminds me a lot of Attila, quite frankly. Um, but you've got your simple, you've got your chains right here. You've got our muster field. And then here, so in the major cities, you can build these guys, temples. So basically, it costs, obviously, a certain amount of resources. And what they do is they give you different boosts. So Hera, for example, gives you plus five to growth, gives you more morale for all the troops recruited in the province and also armies within the province. And then you have a chance to get additional favor and you keep building them up. Uh, we have altar, sanctuary and temple. So Zeus, you uh, can get um, additional influence and reduce construction costs. Ares, you get melee attack boosts and charge boosts with armies within the province and then also army uh, units recruited here. You have Apollo, you get missile unit uh, re recruitment cost reduction, additional rank for agents and also reduced agent cost. And then with Athena, you can get melee defense boosts as well as uh, other favor of Athena. And you also get heroes are ranked two ranks higher than normal. You get favor of Poseidon. This one is a reduced construction time for that's the primary one and also plus eight percent to campaign movement of armies starting their turn there and then last aphrodite this one gives you additional happiness and also increases your replenishment rate so when you look at this you see the resource cost and then here you can also see the military uh here as well so with this one you've got the victoria and then this one allows you to the higher up you go you can get better units pretty standard stuff so what we are going to do here though is you also have these guys so this gets you resource boosts then you have grain carts but the thing is you also can lose influence as you go so this one also is just a hunter's lodge this one gets you a lot of food but it stunts your growth like crazy so it just matters like kind of what you want to do and also to what you can afford so this one costs a lot uh, and then this, these are less so. So the first thing we are going to do, because then you also have these guys in one last chain administration. So you can have a crier square. This reduces the cost of armies in the province upkeep, recruitment cost of heroes, reduces construction costs to all main buildings, and then plus eight to administrative efficiency for enacting royal decrees. Then you've got food warehouses, which helps you increase your food output, your lumber warehouses, and then this is where you get your agents. You got your spies, and you got your envoys, and then you also can have stone houses, which help you with growth. Uh, this one gives you more envoys. This one gives you wine merchants. Uh, the wine merchant gives you increased happiness and more spies. This gives you additional wood, which in our case we really need to work it on. We need to get some stone some stone going so I don't think I think the only stone one or what did what does this what did these guys yeah this this province actually doesn't give us any stone whatsoever so we need to kind of figure we need to figure that out and then oh also one last thing in the uh, right here the special units you've got again boosts for palaces and then we already have the Trojan Tower. This is kind of like the garrison and walls and Warhammer. It just gives you extra troops uh, in your garrison to help defend it. So first things first, I don't think we need to worry about that just yet. We need to get resources rolling. Except I just don't think we have any stone here. So that could be a problem. Or we could build that. Uh, first things first, though, I think it is important to get archers going. So we'll do that. And that might be really all we can do. Yeah, that's what we'll do for now. Because here we're going to have to build... We'll probably build a boost to either the food. Just because it's... We can easily do this. I think this will have to... This will get us food. Because we have to get a high influence bonus of 170 plus food per turn. So the higher our influence, the better there. So let's take Hector. And what does he have? He has slingers and spearmen. All right, so we've got to go take care of him. So we'll walk over here and do that. And no god is on our side. We've got a pretty good balance of power, though. 
So we are going to let loose. So this is just a rebel army. We can go against him. We can also see Hector in action too for the first time, which will be nice. All right, so one thing I'm gonna show you to, here too is you can have weather conditions. These are back, so you can wait. So right now it's dry, no adverse effects. So if we were to wait, it's rain. So if units then go idle, it will take them longer to recover from fatigue. Again, rain, and then rain. So ideally, I would not choose this. I just wanted to show off, show what it can do if you try to gamble and then uh, don't. If you try to gamble and you're wrong, it can actually hurt you pretty good. So, all right, so you guys, you're my front line. I need you behind them. You are your own group. Hector's his own group, so he's easy. You guys come over here, you're hidden. Because these guys, what do you do? That's fine. All right, because you guys are my heavy infantry, and then Hector, I need you up here. I don't like not having the high ground though, but I'll, I'll deal with it to have at this. And actually, if I could get them to come to me, that would be even better. Let me make sure. Um, you guys are not in skirmish mode, you're in guard mode. Where's my... Quiet. Alright, so... So much for that idea. Alright, so advance we go. Let's see if we can find them. And Hector here, so he has lead by example. So this is just a ally buff range. So they get 10% bonus to melee attack, weapon damage, and defense. Uh, and he gets two of those. The other thing is the hero ability. So once you get enough points for that, you then freeze your stamina. He becomes unbreakable. And then he also gets healing and then 20% armor and 30% melee attack buff. So... That's pretty uh, pretty legit. Also, let's take a look at Hector with his... Uh... There we go. Sorry. I zoomed in right on the uh, right as he was going in the brush. So this is not what I uh, intended it to be. But stealthily, Hector goes through the brush. And then... Oh, there they are. Found him. All right, so they don't see me, actually. Let's see if we can get into range. At least I don't think they see me. Because we outrange them. Oh, there's another group. Shoot them. So they're under missile fire because they actually, yeah, they're going to lose this fight. And what I'm actually going to do is we're going to send in, yep. Oh, and they realize how after they are. All right, you advance, Hector, you advance. You guys come down here. All right, they're just about broken. I need you to go take out their leader. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. You get over there. So then we are going to flank them. Your foe attacks your flank. Drive them off. You guys start shooting there.
All right, so then flank them. Your warriors are losing heart. Turn and fire on them. They're they're a bigger priority. All right, how's he doing? Pretty good. Ah, these warriors have been routed. For shame, your warriors. I know, I know, I know. Hopefully, they decide to come back. These guys are almost broken too, so they'll be able to come around very quickly. He's not pissed off enough yet. Oh, there they go. They're coming back. They've almost recovered, I think. They're just broken. They're not shattered. Alright, so you go there. You chase them. Hit them in the back. Excellent. You come back up here. Don't worry about them anymore. You chase them down. Hector, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. He's almost dead. Hit them in the back. I need you over here. Yep, they're about to shatter. Yep, they're gone. Yeah, their leader's running. You go after them. You can chase them down. Kill their leader. Oh, nope. You cannot come back. Are they running? Okay, good. Fire on them. Finish him off, Hector. He's not quite angry enough. I think they're they're shattered. Yeah, they're gone. Deal with them. Oh, they're coming back. That's annoying. Keep dealing with them. Come on, Hector, finish him off. Hades has claimed the enemy hero. Nice. Your brave warriors have cut down the enemy. Break off from them. All right, Hector, I need you back over here. They should be breaking any moment now. You can turn and fire on them. These guys are not going to last long against that against that unit. Yeah, because th these are the guards of Troy, and these are just light swordsmen. They're not going to last very long. All right, the slingers are broken. Get out of skirmish mode. There we go. So let's speed this up, see if we can catch any of them. So these guys are javelin. These guys are slaying infantry. Yeah, these guys are not going to catch them. All right, so we've kicked off the first battle. A little more losses than I would have liked, but that was because these I didn't set these guys up right. That is the thing. You really don't have much cavalry in this game, at least as compared to others. Stab the chest. This is a little cool thing too, they have a little post, and, and it varies too, so you get food instead of uh, money, so that's the thing to notice. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to absorb them. My experience grows. Alright, so then we have to maintain 12 units in total, okay. Got a victory, killed him. All right, and because of what we did, we've gained two of Prime's benevolence by supporting our brother. 
Yay, good job, boss. All right, so I think what we're gonna do, what's the garrison here? They have eight units. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull back. Actually, we're gonna go all the way to the city. And then, let's see, who do I want? They have bad morale. Um, it's actually the same, and they're armored too. So, because what we're doing is we are building, we're building the practice range. And then on the next turn, we're going to build probably this. Just because we don't have, we're not getting any stone. So for him, and we, we can't recruit any heroes yet. I mean, we could, but this, we don't need to. Agents, we don't have any yet. Um, so, don't need to worry about that. All right, so let's get let's get Hector some more troops. So, let's get a couple more swordsmen. And we'll do that. And then also, what you can do is you can do diplomacy. So, for example, we are getting over seventeen hundred food. So we'll do this. So, like, I need stone. That's kind of a no... Oops, wrong button. I need stone, badly. I do not get any. So, of these resources, you kind of have to manage this, too. So, let's negotiate with our father. So, we'll have a barter agreement. So, what I'm going to offer him is... Uh, he doesn't have any stone, either. Never mind. All right. So, we need to... Who has it? And also, too, one thing is green is they value it in short supply. Red means they have a ton of it, and so they don't care. So, like, it's very, it's not that valuable to them. Does anybody, honestly, Paris would probably be our best shot. Whatever obstacles may stand, we can overcome them together. All right, so you, you don't care as much about timber. You do care about bronze, though. And I get 60, so let's just offer food. That's kind of a low-hanging fruit. So if I give you 100 food, that's not going to hurt me. And if I get... How much can I get? So if I want 100, how much do I have to offer you? Can we do 105? 106! 107. Perfect. All right. So for 395 food, I can get 107 stone from him. And this is an ongoing. So this will be for five turns. So I'll get basically like 500 stone out of it. And then we agree to it. And I'll show you this too. Like you can go out to 10 turns. So trade agreements are not permanent. You can also do just a single barter. So you can just trade like, hey, here, I need this, give me this. So he is gonna give me stone. So we'll exit our negotiation. So now from diplomacy, we're gonna get 100 stone, which is good. And so like to build this, so in like five turns, we could build this. So that's kind of how how you have to think about things, basically, is you have to manage not just the resources, but also who has resources that you might need and who you can do that. So let's also look at divine will. So, oops, sorry. All right, so we have ne we've kind of neglected everybody here just because we're at the start. And what we can do is we can do a prayer, which will cost 20 gold and 400 food. Or we can do a hec hecatome. A hecatome? Hecatome. Not sure which. So that will just get us favor with that god, and it will cost us that much food. So, however, we when you get to respect it, it changes. So, with, so for like instance, so with Hera. So when she, you're respected with her, 20% of missile damage of slingers, faction-wide. You also have, we also have a prayer to Hera, so additional holdout time. Um, attrition casualties reduction and then you have Zeus so club units get a 20% boost 15% damage to javelin 
Ares, additional recruitment capacity faction wide, a delight for violence. Then you've got Apollo, priestess increase, temple reduction cost, and then when celebrated, you get 20 plus terrain percent boost to range of archer units, and then additional reload skill, and that's faction wide. So that's pretty good. And then you can get a recruitment of a seer. So basically, you can then get uh, all heroes frighten enemy units in battle, unlock special recruitment when you get up to uh, worshipped, and then you can also, so you can get gorgons with Athena. And then you have spear units. That actually would probably be good for us, um, to be honest. Um, and then you have Poseidon, where movement range is C, treasure looted after battle. That's actually pretty good. Additional food for coastal towns and Aphrodite. Growth, happiness, per non aggression pact. And then battle captives taken increased. So. We could do a prayer to Aphrodite. Or we can do this, which will get us a ritual. So I think the best one for us at the moment, who had the spear? Additional morale, spear units. Heroes become unbreakable. I kind of like this, to be honest. Do I not have enough for the prayer? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna so this one they're not available. How, what's the cooldown? So this is prayer effects negative five percent morale, Asian actions, diplomatic agreements, siege holdout times. Uh, this actually isn't terrible. And Athena, we kind of want to... Yeah, heroes are unbreakable in battle. That's not terrible. This one is amused to deep sea attrition. Nobody cares. Uh, growth and happiness. Um, we're actually... I think we're going to go with Athena. I ask for your support. All right. So, oh, prayer effects will take... That's okay. We're going to recruit anyway. And we have four turns to do that. Because what we can also do is we can... We're going to get pretty... We could get low on food here if we're not careful. Um, I think we're going to get that rolling. So Ares... So now we have additional recruitment capacity and morale of sword and axe units. So that's good. So we've leveled them up. So we're kind of... Yeah, we're getting a little low there. But we should... Yeah, I just don't have I don't have enough food, but I could recruit another one, and that should be. Then here's the scale. So you, we can actually even undermine our siblings. That's the funny part. Um, so we can. I don't think we can do it yet. Yeah, with their faction. So we support our brother, common enemy. Negative thirty. We declare war. Defeat the Achaeans. Ensure population happiness. Fulfill our destiny. Favor with Apollo. Oh, shoot. I should have looked at that first. Yeah, so this is available. So I can't do that for another five turns. But Ares will be helpful. All right. So I think that's everything that we can do on this turn. And we'll advance. So, not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. And as we're going through the intern phase, don't forget, if you want to keep up with this series here on the channel, click on the logo right here in the bottom right-hand corner. That is the easiest way to subscribe. Uh, what did he do? This changed by three. Prayers answered. Nice. A hooting owl. Uh, just click on the logo right here in the bottom right hand corner. That's the easiest way to keep up with new videos when they come out. So we've got more stone there. That's good. Um, so then let's come over here. And we're going to take this. Ooh, nice. So, th so yeah. So this is where we're getting the divine support. Oop, and Hector, I need to upload. Not upload. I need to upgrade him. So let's see. We can do Vanquish. So that boosts his hit points. Okay, so they get hit point boosts on either side. So this is on self. You get plus 30% weapon damage, plus 
30% armor piercing damage or charge bonus and speed. Uh, we're going to go with divine focus. All right, so he's set up there. Make them pay. What do we have here? Militia, light swordsman, young spears, and keen slingers. Uh, we've got a pretty good balance of power here. So we're just going to... We're not get, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep moving forward. Ooh. Oh, ouch! That's pretty brutal. Oh, and we got some gold, nice. Alright, so here we can get so if we loot and occupy, we get unit replenishment, province instability, happiness to share at one point per turn, conquest penalty, gold, wood, food. We'll just occupy it. We don't need to get too crazy here all right so we've secured the province that's good and then here okay so we don't need this we can demolish that so this costs a thousand wood we don't have enough for that just yet um what is this province this province just gets us food so that's kind of a waste to be honest um that's almost done Because where are you? Because you are next to. Hector and I can talk. Warrior to warrior. You're neutral. So that's fine. Um. Okay. So then down here. There is much to discuss. Okay. So this is minor. So let's look at, let's plan this out here. So, who is the closest of you guys? Oh, I still need to finish you off. Okay, that's fine. Because who do you belong to? consideration to whatever... You just have the one. This is a good time to talk. Cause are you So we're actually improving. So let's put a non aggression pact forward. Because I think that will also with Priam's air one for fifty units of gold. Population happiness, 10 plus for each province, producing 400 more food per turn. We'll get there soon. So we're going to build that. And then Hector. I think we should still be okay, yeah. Because actually, actually wait, hold on. That's gonna be done next turn, so... I only need, yeah, I just need that, because then I'll complete the mission, and it'll be set. So we need to build this up, and then we need to set sail for down here and clean this up. You have done a lot for your city, so let's talk. Because eventually... Uh, we have military and a non-aggression pact with these guys. This is a good time to talk. So he does not want to do that. Because eventually we can confederate with him. But we need more time to do that. What does he like? He likes our treaties with him. Okay, so he's 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 coming around. We should be able to get him without worrying about that too much. So we'll recruit here. We've got our missions going. We've got to get 12. We're going to get that next turn, and we're going to issue a royal decree, which should be coming up in two turns as well. So everybody's going to be happy. Um, we could... We don't really need to pray. We need to get Apollo's... We need to get Apollo happy with us. So that should be... 
Oh, that's right. And we have to do a commandment. So we can do... Okay, so we can do influence over this province. Happiness. Growth. Do influence. Happiness and growth. Agents. Resources. Um, the resources aren't going to help us a ton at the moment, so let's get the growth going. Because we have a population surplus of one. So eventually we're going to need to build these guys up. But that should be it, so we'll end our turn. Alright, so we got that. Do not neglect the development of the I know, I know, I know. Construct any building. Okay, Prime's error. Dude, what are you doing? Is he just like... Oh, he, I bet it's because he's... um. He's probably... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Honestly, it would make sense to build this. Um, just because... Prince Hector. Agreed. All right, so that should be enough of a force to deal with that, and then we'll set sail down here. Except I may have just... No, I didn't cost myself out of it. That's good. Um, resources... Trojan Tower might not be a bad idea. Yeah, because that's this is a coastal town, so when they come in, this is where they're probably going to land. And then with you guys, we have a barter agreement. Oh, this is Paris, that's right. Three more turns of that. We're doing okay on food, but we probably shouldn't go too much further. So then Hector will be done recruiting... Um, yeah, okay. And I think that's all we need to do. Well, goodness gracious, what's he doing over there? All right. Okay. So, we get the growth, that's great. Um, production buildings. Honestly, we need to get stone. That's probably a big one. Wood, we're okay on. Because we're getting some. That would be helpful eventually, but we need to get the production going. The gold also wouldn't hurt, but... Righteous and true. Oh. Oh, that sucks. That must have cut out. Oh, but they're still... Okay, they're still... They're still good. Prayer to Apollo. Okay, so the prayers, I don't need to worry about too much. Unless Siege Holdout, Growth and Happiness. Uh, how are we doing on Happiness? Plus one. Okay, that's good. But how much of that is due to military presence? Okay. Uh, but we can also boost these guys. So... Let's get them. I don't think it really matters. Um, let's get them going because then we can continue to upgrade that. You stop. And I need you. How do I get here? Ready to defend. Oh, hi. 
Let's so, is this under siege? Or is that just... Oh, no, that's just them. I am there. We march in haste. We're landing. All right, let's get him back on. Perfect. True and then this is just a small village, so yeah, we should be able to deal with them. Who's this? Okay. Got it. Um, do I want to do any... Okay, fine. Um, active, Ilios. So we are allied with Troy. Okay, we need to get... We need to keep moving that. Yes, we should talk. So, are we full allies? Defensive alliance, okay. Let's negotiate. To talk. Of course I shall listen. And I would like... Oh, no. I want to take... You have short supply. You have a lot of food. I'll take a decent amount of your stone. And your bronze. Okay, I'm getting away with pretty much highway robbery here, it feels like. I mean, I'm not going to complain if you let me take all this stuff. Goodness gracious. I feel like I'm robbing this guy blind. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Oh, five. One. Three. Perfect. All right, so we've strengthened the league and we just got a crap ton of resources from them. So that's awesome. So we strengthened the league. That's good. I forgot about this part. So we now have friends, Pact of Strength, Gives us additional movement and morale. Let's see, who else can we get in here? I should have done this far sooner, but Paris, are we already we're already allied with him, aren't we? May your visit Oh no, we aren't. Alright, single barter. I want all your gold. I want all your bronze. I want a decent amount of your timber. And by decent, I mean a lot. And then I'll take 10 food. Because I can. All right. Great. Of course. So we strengthened the league further. Let's see how we're doing. So what do we need to get to growing league? 20 allied regions. So now we're at 10. So we're, oh no, we're at seven. Oh no, we need to get to 10. Okay, so we can probably get a few more people in here. We're allied. Actually, this guy, oops, I think this is the one he, yes. yeah, he doesn't want this just yet, unless I could maybe convince him. Nah, we're good. Um, who else? You guys. I should probably hear Troy out. No, they're not interested. Okay. All right, well, they'll come around eventually, because they... They like our treaties and they like and they're improving so they're they're getting they're getting there all right so um he's stuck in march that's okay i think we're outside the i should i'll say i should stay in the stay in the sea impossible nah, except i can't all right that might have been a mistake but we'll we'll see what they do
Your military might grows, and with it, your influence and reputation. He what? I'm sure the following has been constructed. Altar of Ares. Prime's Benevolence. Okay, fine. Okay, Dad. Can we not build? Well, we can't build altars here. We have to build in the cities. Dang it. Hold on. How long will it take? It'll take... I need two population surplus. It'll take three turns. Actually, here. To do the mission, we need to do this. Wait, why can't I do this? Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, what is... Hold on, where is Prime's Air? Oh, 14. Oh, okay. We're at 14, too. So it's not that bad. Okay. I fight for my city. All right, is this the, this is not the main, main port though. All right, so we need to have two population surplus. We only have one. And when I was building it, that goes down to zero. Okay. So it'll take three turns to get there. It'll take three turns to get there. Four turns, three turns to get there. Four turns to build it. So we're at seven, and how long does it take to build build a temple? Or an altar varies. It takes two turns. Oh, we can actually do that. Because yeah, four, three turns to get the extra surplus point. Three turns to get the extra surplus point. Four turns to build it. That's seven. Two turns. Yeah, no, we can do that. We can totally do that. We can, except I, oh, I only have eight turns. Dang it. Ah. All right. Uh, unless. I have a lot of archers, so actually here's what we're going to do. I, I, do, I want to get Troy, so we're actually going to demolish that, build an altar in its place. All right, so let's go back to building that. Oh, you got to get creative in this game sometimes. All right. Um, no God is on our side. Um, let's see. What do they have? Light swordsman. I think it's just a regular battle map, right? Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to fight this ourselves, and we will do that at the beginning of the next episode. The idea here is a Monday, Wednesday, Friday cadence um, to start, and then we'll see where we go from there. But that is where we will leave things with Hector, the Prince of Troy. We'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. We'll catch you all later. This is Rubicon out. Again, don't forget, you want to get that notification of when the new episode comes out, click on this logo right here in the bottom right-hand corner. Easy way to subscribe so you can get that notification set up. We'll see you all later. Take care, everybody.